I'm alive. It is true. I'm alive. I'm here. And yeah. <laughs> I posted a video two months ago. And now I have 230 subscribers. Um, 6k views. I'm so shocked. I'm like literally like... Like I didn't even think people were gonna watch it. Honestly, I thought like I just do it, did it for fun, and I'm honestly I I can't I don't I don't have the words. Like I'm so happy. I'm very grateful. Like I just appreciate all of it so much, and I'm so happy. Like I'll ah! today I decided to film two videos just because I'm kind of lacking, guys. I'm I'm slacking off. I have been dealing with my day job and prepping for back to school. Because I'm in university, so I've been kind of, you know, behind on videos. Last post was two months ago. But I also didn't think anybody was going to want more from me, so I didn't really, like... I didn't really plan on recording more, but now I guess I am. I plan on filming, like, kind of, like, a little bit of everything. I really am not just, like, gonna stay only on books. I also want to talk about movies, like, theories. I think I, at some point I want to, like, do an iceberg. Um, like, breakdowns of things aside from books, so... That's kind of like what I've been planning on basing this channel around now that um, I think I'm going to be trying to be more consistent with videos. But today we're going to do something that kind of falls within that realm. I'm not doing a review for this video. I'm going to do one for the next video instead. But for this video, I decided I would do books that I would never read. Like, or I, I hope I don't have to ever read <laughs> for various different reasons. I fell down this rabbit hole of disturbing books. And I also want everyone to ignore the fact that my sweater has a hole in it. But I fell down this rabbit hole of disturbing books. And essentially, I have like have been mortified by the fact that people write stuff. And like it, they should be investigated by the police and the FBI uh, for writing these things. I feel like it's necessary that I do a content warning. Uh, kind of for just an overall description of what I'm going to be giving about the books. I'm not going to go into full detail because of course I haven't read them nor do I plan to. Duh, that's the whole point of the the video. But the books contain horrific things like murder, of course, um, pedophilia, incest, violence, just the worst stuff you can think of. It's inside of these books. So that's my fair warning to you before you continue on with the video. I have pretty much, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books in this list, but I've kind of put them in order from one to five because some of them are by the same author. So I've just like lumped them together. But let's start off with the first book on my list, number five, which is Pure by Peter Sotos. Pure by Peter Sotos is a book that I will not and actually cannot read because I have no idea where to find it. And this book actually landed Mr. Sotos in jail. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good start off for this video. Now, Peter Sotos, all of his books are essentially all about super sadistic people and criminals and kind of looking at life from their point of view, which, you know, it, does sound kind of interesting sometimes you see these horrific crimes and you wonder what's going on inside of the heads of these people but then you also gotta remember this is someone making up these thoughts and viewpoints from the point of view of these criminals and it kind of worries me that he can write about this kind of stuff like where are you getting these ideas from the weird thing about this book is that I could not find much information about it other than the fact that it's separated into multiple volumes and I decided like, oh duh, like I should look on Goodreads, right? Like maybe, maybe I'll, I'll see what it's about. Honestly, I'm saying like I couldn't find it. I was just too scared to look up the PDF because I'm sure it's readily available and I didn't want to like end up reading it out of sheer curiosity and then like traumatizing myself, so... I ended up not doing that. All I saw on the Goodreads for at least volume one was two different reviews. And one of them was a five out of five. And it's essentially um, saying that Peter Sotos was right in his philosophy. And the thing with Peter Sotos is his whole philosophy, which, you know, you could agree, you could disagree as well. I personally don't agree because I think he's crazy. His personal philosophy with what he chooses to write is to make people who are reading the book feel sexually aroused by what they're reading 
so that they feel bad um and they feel guilty and they're like and it's like oh look at you you're all you're just as bad as these people even though you're normal bro that makes no sense what are you even talking about like and the thing with the review from this person is that it actually worries me because this person is saying like Sodos's aim is to make his readers feel sexually aroused against their will and better judgment. Thus, he gets as vile and abject as one can be in order to make people feel uncomfortable with themselves. If I want to feel uncomfortable with myself, I'll just wear a shirt that's a little bit too tight. That's it. That's all it takes for me to feel uncomfortable. I don't need to read literal pornography about vile, disgusting things to feel uncomfortable with myself. And not only that, how much of the human population will feel sexually aroused by this kind of content? Not much, unless there's some sort of deviance in you that unfortunately exists. The other thing too is the fact that people avoid talking about what the contents of this book are. I can't even explicitly say what's inside of it because I have no clue. I have no idea at all. And everything I hear is like, oh, I'm not going to say what's inside because I'm going to get in trouble. What? I'm sorry, that's terrifying. A lot of the other books in this thing, in this list that I have, I could find the content for them and I could find descriptions of it and they're horrific. So I don't even know what's inside of this book at all. Now the other review on the other hand that I'm seeing here is, so the aim of this book is to make the readers feel sexually aroused against their will and better judgment. And it fails. If you're not a freak of need of euthaniz euthanization, you won't find anything in this book than a boring slog, not even morbidly entertaining. Just fucked up shit for the sake of it with the author going, See? You like it too, so I can't be fucked in the head. This I'm reading this from someone, by the way. These are <laughs> This is not what I'm saying. But, you know, I think I have to agree with W on this. <laughs> I'm mortified. I'm never gonna read this. Because I'm scared. This is for volume one, by the way. I don't even know what the rest of the- Anyways. By the way, if you're wondering what landed Peter in jail for this book, it's the fact that this book- uh, it was self-published, by the way, so this is why it, this was able to be allowed, or it wasn't allowed, but this is why it happened. Peter Sotos published this book, and the front cover of the book was a photocopied image from a couple of newspapers and stuff. And I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, he also used a photocopy from a magazine of child... So he went to jail. Let's move on to number four. Now, number four is another book that I, I just, I, I'm like mortified thinking about it. And that is Sick Bastards or honestly, anything by Matt Shaw. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. Matt Shaw honestly kind of horrifies me. And I think that's what he wants. Sick Bastards is a book about a family. Oh my god. Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. A lot of people say that he's like, I, I don't even know. People have read this book and they've genuinely enjoyed it. From what I see on Goodreads, it has a 3.62. Like, huh? All I know about this book is that essentially it is a kind of post-apocalyptic, like nuclear war um scenario kind of book and you wake up and there is a family and um the family does things in order to survive and it's not things i want to talk about i will say from what i've seen on goodreads this book contains cannibalism incest gore uh grape zombies and then the family the family is the main culprit for all of these things and that's already more than enough for me did not want to read it. Um, this is not even like the only book in Matt Shaw's collection of books because this is Sick Bastards number one. Number one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you think that was the only one? No. There's also one uh, called Sicker Bastards. He has various other books too. Uh, all the ones that are supposedly like the most horrific ones are the ones that uh, have the uh, black cover and then just white and red text like I'm going to show up on the screen. He has one just, just called Porn. There's one called Roe vs. Wade. It's dystopian future horror about abortion rights. I'm not reading that. <laughs> I think that encompasses my feelings about Matt Shaw. I'm sure he's a great guy. Like, I'm sure, like, he's... Actually, I don't know. I think uh, we're done with that. We're done with Maddie. And we're gonna move on to number three. 
and this one's definitely going to be super familiar for a lot of people if you're like into horror books and that is hog so hog is a book by samuel r delaney oh my god i just saw some of my notes <laughs> and like what the contents are from uh what i got from wikipedia and mortifying this is like now we're getting up there i the other two i couldn't even read or i couldn't even find what the contents were this one i got a full description and summary from wikipedia that i decided to read and even the actual wikipedia description was enough to make me want to like ugh. um now samuel r delaney encompasses so many things in this one book to the point where i'm actually scared i'm scared the whole video i'm i'm scared this book deals with things like um incest again uh necrophilia that was that's new that wasn't in the other ones i think uh grape once again um some of these words i can't even pronounce coprophilia coprophagia urolagnia and um acts of violence against children i don't know why why would we why do we need this in the world is my like concern or my question it's just pure violence for god knows how many pages this book actually is we are introduced to the main character which is just our pre-adolescent boy as he goes through the most horrific things a child can go through i will never read this book i'm so sorry but i don't i don't care how many times people have to recommend this to me i i'll link the wikipedia page down in the in the description bar if you actually want to read it i i don't i don't care i don't care how well written it is i don't care how um political it is with its use of like pornography and violence but i just won't read it i refuse i think it's a atrocious book um just for its actual content and i will never find actual significance or pleasure from reading something this bad and speaking of re getting any sort of pleasure or happiness from things this grotesque let's move on to number two which is by a guy that i'm gonna be talking about on this channel he's gonna have his own video actually the marquis de sade is it marquis de sade or marquis de sade i don't know and i don't care he's dead so not my problem the marquis has a very prolific <laughs> bibliography of things that he's written and his life is very well known but he has two books that i don't think i will ever read and if i do that would be like a big feat that i'm accomplishing of facing like my fears um but the two books by the marquis that i will absolutely never read or i think i won't ever read are the 120 days of sodom and justine now the 120 days of sodom has actually never been completed because the marquis actually did not have time to complete it because he wrote it while he was in jail being arrested for his many crimes it centers around four libertines and the heinous acts of violence and sexual crimes that they commit against a bunch of teenagers that they kidnap yeah it's, it's just weird like they have like madams that like recount their old stories as prostitutes they have a bunch of guards that keep their like keep everyone in order and um it's supposed to be 120 days of just pure like violence and horrific actions against these poor kids why would i want to read that what am i gonna get out of this other than nightmares i won't read it and it's the same thing with the other book honestly justine justine is a book about a girl named justine <laughs> oh my god what a <laughs> what who would have guessed now justine is kind of like a two-parter because there's justine and then there's juliette and justine is essentially the like their sisters and justine decides to go live a life of virtue um like just trying to you know live a virtuous innocent life and the worst things possible just happen to her even though she just wants to be happy and live like a good life the this the worst things happen to this poor girl and meanwhile juliette who decides to live a libertine life of just like disgustingness has like the best life ever like only good only good things according to her happen to her and it just sucks like it <laughs> can't say anything else it just sucks for this poor girl because she's 12. This is a 12-year-old girl and she just wants like 
She just wants to live her life in France. She just gets taken advantage of mo pointless, like pointless amount of times, like multiple times. And Julia is just like, she's just good. But that would be the two books that I hope to never read by the Marquis. And now, oh my God, we're at the number one placement. What could it be? This book, or at least one of them, was recommended to me by someone in the comment section of my first video. I saw it and I got shivers. I was like, <gasps> oh my God, I can't believe someone wants me to read that. I'm talking about Playground by Aaron Burgard. I will never touch this book. The actual cover alone is more than enough for me to never, never want to pick up this book and have to physically read it. I, I refuse. I won't even listen to the audiobook. I've heard snippets of this book on TikTok and on YouTube just from people reading small parts of it and they've made me physically ill at like what I'm hearing from the small snippets of this book. The fact that it exists is actually so scary for humanity because I don't care like what I honestly don't care what kind of person you are. I don't care if you're a splatterpunk fan, horror fan. It's honestly disgusting to hear. What this book is apparently supposed to be about is like three um three very low income families join like this wealthy person for at her, at her house or whatever. Uh from when I know the parents just like collect the money from like uh, being allowed to be there and their kids try out this playground equipment that the the lady i think her name is geraldine if i'm not wrong um has been working on and her playground is not of course it's not an actual playground of course of course it's not an actual playground duh i i like horror you know i i like horror <laughs> this is not horror honestly it's it's not this is like an insult to the genre of horror this is just like how as how it could i as a man make a book that is misogynistic abysmal <laughs> um horrific and just like disgusting i don't know like i know there's like a there's a whole thing on like like the kids in this book are all messed up by the way of course <laughs> you think there's gonna be normal people in this book of course not Someone said this Aaron guy should have his testicles smashed with a mallet and have his manhood removed with a rusty hacksaw. Then he should be held at gunpoint. I like that's not even my own thoughts. That's literally like Patrick the Third. Why'd he leave it a five out of five review then? <laughs> a big thing about this book is apparently the writing style sucks. Like first you write like the most abysmal stuff. Like half the reviews are people being like, "You're disgusting if you enjoy this book," which I agree with. And then the other half, like even like even people who don't even um talk about the content matter because they're like, yo, well duh, of course it's gonna be something gross. Look at the cover. They're like, this this writing style sucks. Like this guy sucks at writing. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw a review that said children go splat. I think I've put myself through enough horrific content just doing the research for this video. And I think I'm done, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna read any of these books. I think out of all of them, the most I'd be willing to read is none of them. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you guys wanted me to read any of these books. You'd have to pay me a thousand dollars per book, and then I'd read it. All right, guys. That's that's my um, <laughs> that's my only want for reading any one of these you know I, i'm very open to whatever books i'm being recommended i always try to do my research before i read it to see if it's something that i think would be a good fit if it's something to be uh to that would be a good review on but being like someone who loves books being someone who is trying to write her own book as well i just gotta draw the line at some places <laughs> I really, uh, honestly, I really hope this video was um, also enjoyable for everyone watching. I know the last one, like a lot of people very much enjoyed. And I hope this one kind of meets up the standard of what I'm going to set for the channel. Honestly, even though I had a horrific time reading like about these books and finding some of the content just through my sleuthing, I enjoy making videos like this. I think it's a lot of fun and I'm hoping to make a lot more too. 
and if you want me to make more in-depth ones about any one of these books uh, I'll do the most I can without hopefully having to read it because I don't I really don't want to this does bring us to the end of the video and I just want to thank you if you stuck all this whole way uh, once again if you feel like subscribing liking or commenting thanks I appreciate it but you don't have to of course and hopefully I see you guys all again for the next video thanks